How you doing YouTube? Today I just wanted to bring you a little video of some uh, pretty well a cheap way of putting power in your pole building or garage or whatever. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to, I got this Super Bronco tiller. I'm trying to get the tires unstuck, which sprayed with some PB Blaster, but they are on there. Uh, it was like that when I bought it. I'm actually getting ready to get rid of it, but anyhow, get back to the log. Uh, what I've done, I ran a two inch conduit from the house to my pole building. And as you can tell, this is the breaker box. Uh, what will it hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So probably about 20 breakers or 20 regular size breakers in it, uh, which you can put the minis. Uh, but anyhow, I went with the cheaper option of putting in a 100 amp panel without a main disconnect up here. For a simple fact, I mean, why do you really need a main disconnect up here? I mean, in my opinion, you don't. Uh, I'm not going to be running uh, a welder, air compressor, and all that stuff at the same time, so I, I didn't have the power needs. Uh, some of you might. I, I don't know. Uh, you're, but I'm going. I think this, uh, which I done the aluminum wire. Uh, for a simple fact, it's ch it is cheaper. I'm wanting to say, I think the power is number two aluminum. I really can't remember, but with that being said, ran that from my 200 amp service in the house and pulled it up here, which this is a direct burial wire. I mean, you can, you can throw it right in the ground and not have to put it in conduit, which I did. I put it in conduit for a simple fact. You never know when you could possibly get that rock up in there. But the with everything, uh, I bought 150 foot of wire, which it's uh, I think this wire was a dollar a foot. I want to say something like that, so 150 bucks. Uh, then the panel was probably price. 70 60 bucks something like that uh which it now it did not come with breakers uh i had some breakers laying around for my 200 amp uh service so which i have eaten products i like eating uh and i believe the g breaker will fit in this also but uh anyhow like i said that was the reason the reasoning I had to do on this, not gonna have a big power load. Uh, this pole building is 34 by 56. And I put a outlet every, uh, what did I say, that's almost eight foot span of the uh, poles. And uh, pretty well, like I said, I'm not going to have that big a power load. The lights don't, they, they don't pull no major wattage, which the lights are on a breaker by themselves. Uh, I do five outlets per breaker. Now, some people don't, but I do. Like I said, I'm not going to be running a bunch of stuff off the, you know, consuming a lot of power at one time. Uh, probably the most thing I have that consumes the power my little refrigerator you know over there but simple hookup on these uh you have your two power lugs which only thing i don't like about them is they were kind of loose when you went to tighten them up but and probably a lot of people notice i didn't put the oxidization stuff on there uh didn't really think i needed it up here but uh anyhow you hook your two powers your two lugs on bottom which you also go to your your neutral goes to your neutral bar which are right beside there 
and this is not bonded. Uh, I didn't, I just didn't see no need to bond the box. Uh, right there is actually a screw to bond it, but ground bars right there. Very simple. Uh, for you people, I guess, that wouldn't know, of course, your neutral wires go on this bar here. Uh, greens for ground, very self-explanatory. And your black wire, of course, goes into your breaker. Uh, the one thing I wish I would have done is, there's the little John Deere, it's a little bit dirty. But uh, actually got the uh, receptacle the other day, which at my store, they were, I think I, this thing was like 30 or 40 bucks. And uh, actually I see them on Amazon a lot cheaper. But uh, I look into it. I know this one will output, well, it's a 15 amp and it will do 3.1 amp, I guess, through the plugs. But uh, <clears throat> I, I kind of wish I'd put these a lot more, which when I do this wall over here, I will. Uh, that wall also back over there is not, it don't have wires, but uh, also, I'll say if you guys do any wiring, this is the best. It's just a little square tip. It goes into your breakers, uh, which I'll show you here. Uh, it goes into the breakers and your panel. That's what, uh, like all these uh, screws right here, you just go in there, which this is live. So don't try this at home, but you, you can get right in there and tighten them up, which this is a Klein tool. Uh, it's, I don't, I'm not telling you to do anything with power on it, but, uh, really you can stick it right in that power right there. And if you're not grounded, you should get shocked. So. But with that being said, uh, yeah, I went 100 amp service for simple fact. I'm not going to be running a bunch of stuff. It's a lot cheaper to go, uh, which it's pretty dark outside now. I can't show you. But if I was to go uh, a 200 amp service, which I thought about doing, uh, but you can't. Right there is actually a power pole. And uh, I was just going to come on this wall right here put it in but what I'm understanding is that you have to pay an additional fee it's not like your house where the power company will come and do it for free uh, you're saying you have to do a special fee for that I don't know I really didn't call them uh, but Anyhow, just went the 100 amp service. If you're if you're going to be running welders, air compressors, stuff like that, at the same time all the time, I mean, I can run a welder off at 100 amp service and be fine. Uh, now, if I start putting a 220 air compressor running while I'm welding stuff, yeah, you're getting you're getting to the point where you know you probably should went 200 amp but uh i'm actually thinking about where the generator setting is uh make me a thing where i can plug in up plug the generator in up here so i don't have to take it down the house and just back feed from up here uh i just gotta do some research on that but uh i'll be honest guys when i bought the house or the farm off my grandparents uh they still had a, I'll have to find it, but they still had a 60 amp screw in fuse disconnect or how lighting panel. <laughs> and yeah, so, and believe it or not, I ran hot tub off that and everything. Uh, but anyhow, like I said, I just want to show you a cheap, cost efficient way 
fire your pole building and uh, just show you kind of how you'd wire it up. But anyhow, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how big your guys' pole buildings are and uh, if you see anything. I mean, you've pretty much seen all mine. Anything I, I should add or, you know, uh, what you guys think. But anyhow, thanks for watching and hit the uh, notification bell also so you guys can see when the videos pop up and all that stuff. So, all right, guys.